Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to show you super quickly how you can add moving snow to your image in Photoshop using the LSP Ice Kiss Winter Photoshop Actions Suite. This set contains 45 Photoshop Actions uh, designed for giving your image a winter edit. I'm going to switch here to button mode. There we go. Including the Add Snow video. That's what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial here. You can watch the other tutorials for help on how to use all these other actions to winterize your image. So I'm going to click here, create video overlay. And this has created a brand new image uh, to make sure I'm not saving over the original. It's also created the video timeline down here. A window will pop up, choose your overlay, resize and hit enter. So I'm going to click here on your download, you will see the snow flurry video layers and you can choose which kind of snow you'd like to add. Now for this image I think I'm going to go for the gentle snowfall sparkle. Let's try that one because it's rather a magical image. So I'm just going to resize that, hit enter, the action will play out and create the video for me. You hit continue, use a black brush to mask off where you do not want the overlays to show and you can change uh, the brightened snow layer here. See this video timeline? you can hit the play button to watch your video. Bear in mind that depending on how fast your computer is it may play back quite slowly in Photoshop but the finished one will not. You can drag the slider here to the beginning. You can also make the shorter by um, grabbing this little stopper here and dragging that in. At the moment it's set to 20 seconds so let's just lift that up a little bit. We can see the video layers here and without doing anything, I haven't touched anything, I'm just going to hit play and see what this looks like. And you can see we have the moving snow uh, video going over the top. I'm going to brighten this up by clicking on the brighten snow layer here and just bringing the opacity up. This will really kind of um, make that snow show. As you can see. If you want the snow not to fall on anywhere, for example, let's keep perhaps this snow as a background snow. I'm going to click on here, the gentle snowfall sparkle uh, layer, onto this white layer mask box, select black, brush and I'm just going to brush this off so let's say that that's a behind kind of snowfall there. So you can see now if I press play the snow isn't really falling on our subjects. I'm going to click um, here, add another video layer and I'm going to add the floating large snow to go kind of in front. So we just resize that make it a little bit bigger and hit enter and again it's all been set up so there's the floating large snow brighten that one up a little bit and let's press play now we can see we have uh, two layers of snow as I said it runs a little bit slow and a little bit stilted in Photoshop because that is the editing program but once you save and render it will run super smoothly so to save your video First make sure you're happy with 20 seconds because obviously that'll be a bigger file. You can bring this down perhaps to 10 seconds to make it shorter if you wanted to. And you come here um, on the video section of the actions and hit save video overlay as a video. So perhaps save it as snow overlay with the client's name. Um, and these are the settings you want, the Adobe Media Encoder, Format H264. This should be pretty automatic on your Photoshop, but if not, you can copy these settings. High quality, the size document size, this has been shrunk down um, when the new image was created to 248 pixels on the long side, uh, which is great for social media uploads. Frame rate, document frame rate, um, 30 frames per second. If it has a different number here, you might want to change that to 30. It'll be nice and smooth. Um, you want the field orders to be a uh, progressive uh, preset. A spec document and the same document uh, ratio that you've got here. Color manage, work area. So, you know, we've brought this down to 10 seconds here. And hit render. Our rendering can take a little while depending on how fast your computer is. Um, mine's moving quite quickly now, but I'm just going to pause this video just for a moment so it you won't have to sit here listening to me ramble while it renders. Once it's done you'll find the mp4 is saved in the folder you selected. Okay so I paused it for a moment there and it's just finished exporting. So now I'm going to find the video in the folder, this is on my other screen, and open it up to show you how the finished one looks. Here it is. 
So isn't that pretty? You can upload this to Photoshop, um, to Photoshop, to Facebook, to Instagram. You can give these to your clients as part of the mini session um, to share on their own timeline. I set this to 10 seconds. Um, the full video length is 20 seconds. You can go to 30 seconds if you wanted to. But I find 10 seconds is a nice size to render. And if you put this on um, Facebook, it will kind of repeat and repeat itself. I think I can set a repeat option on here somewhere. I'm not quite sure how. Repeat, there we go. So this should just carry on repeating and repeating over and over again. But that's really pretty. And that's using the LSP Ice Kissed Winter Collection for Photoshop. And this is a tutorial uh, just for the video part. You also have all of these actions here. So please do watch the other video tutorials to learn how to use those. That's available at www.lsp-actions.com.